let's say that you are serving God now and you are beginning to follow his rules and regulations. Let's say that you meet a person and this person is acting like they want to serve God. <laughs> Look, we have to be very, very careful <clears throat> of the people that we speak to because everyone that is asking you help for God is not really looking for help for God. Listen, we have to know that there are people who works for demons. They work for demons. And usually when it comes down to witches and people of the occult, what I have been learning, I don't know if it is the case for every single one, but many people or some people who become a witch or whatever else, usually they have been abused in some type of way when, when they were a kid, when they were very young. Almost every single case that I have heard of even with people that I have spoke to, when it comes down to a witch, they have been abused by their mother, father, cousin, uncle, whomever else. And they blame God for it, so they fight against God. Hey, if there was a God, they would have saved me from this mess. Pretty much, that is what they say in so many words. We have to know that there are people who work for demons. So when a person is asking you for your help, be cautious, listen and watch what they are saying and doing. If you begin to see that they are not really interested in serving God or anything like that, but they are trying to come at you in a different way, then you know what their intentions are. They are not of God. And if it is not of God, you want to be careful. Look, ultimately, Demons want you to die and go to hell. Now that you are living for God, you are a threat to demons. I know that you are, ever since that you have been living for God, you want to help everyone and pray for everyone and you want to heal the sick and cast out demons out of everyone and part the Red Sea and stuff like that, yes. I understand that, but everyone can't be helped because everyone does not want to serve God. If a person comes to me and say, hey, Kevin, tell me what I have to do to serve God. Then I tell that person what to do. And if they are showing me interest, like they want to read the Bible and pray and do this and do that, hey, I am going to continue to help that person. But in some cases, you may meet people that say that they want your help, but they start speaking crazy things to you. Like not interested in the things of God, but they want to speak crazy things to you about demons and, <clears throat> and all this other stuff. You have to be careful. I pray this makes sense. Everyone can be helped. I know at first, at one time, I wanted to help as many people as possible. Well, I still do, but I am not as hyper about it 
as I was before, then the more people I spoke to, I started to learn some people don't want to be helped. They just want, <laughs> I have no idea. They just want to tell you about their problems and stay in the rut that they are in. They don't want to change. And some want to pull you into sin. I had some of those that tried to do that to me. But a good thing that I seek God just about every single day. No. Well, now I do, you know, before. Well, I pretty much always did to a certain extent. I guess you can say. So, I pray that this makes sense. Just because someone wants your help does not mean that they are looking for your help. Perhaps they are looking for something else. Sex, trying to put a curse on you. So many other things. So I pray that this makes sense. Don't be silly. God bless.